All right, I let's turn to our series, The Dish, which today serves up some Texas barbecue with an international twist that is both unexpected and delicious. The Arlington, Texas restaurant called Smoke and Ash was the brainchild of a married couple who combined the food of their childhoods to create a recipe for success. Jamie Wax got to sample the menu, and he joins us now to talk about it. Jamie, sounds delicious. Good morning. It was delicious, Flag. Good morning. You might not think Ethiopian and Texan cuisine would mix, but when Fasika and Patrick Hicks combined their recipes, they created an international sensation. Both cuisines start with smoke, the common thread at Smoke and Ash, and end with full, happy stomachs and a lot of used napkins. So we're going from Texas to Ethiopia to St. Louis with this platter. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love it. This is global barbecue here. Sometimes the most unexpected combinations from the most unexpected places make the most surprising culinary delights. Mm -hmm. Look at the cap of melted fat on that. That is just gorgeous. <laughs> that is beautiful. Like at Smoke and Ash. This unassuming restaurant in a small strip mall in Arlington, Texas, has all you'd expect in a barbecue place, like ribs and brisket. Oh, I'm gonna steal a rib tip from, from your beautiful platter. All right. <laughs> mm. Boy, that is perfect. Just tender and smoky, and you haven't even finished it yet. But the secret sauce brings an international flair with spice rubs and sauces from Ethiopia. I have the Burberry sauce, which is, we call it awaze. And this blend of Southwest U.S. and East Africa is deliciously unique. Now I can see why your customers are so loyal, because they literally can't get this anywhere else. Not nowhere else. <laughs> nowhere else. Patrick Hicks is a born and bred Texan from Waco. His wife, Asika Hicks, is from Addis Ababa, the capital of Ethiopia. They met in 1997 after she immigrated to Texas. The so, first so date was at, at IHOP, and um, <laughs> I ordered like the chicken fried steak, but. Eggs, pancakes, yeah. This was about food from the very oh, beginning. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Both of them like to cook, and Patrick's barbecue became a favorite of Fasika's Ethiopian family. Seeing her family's delight gave her an idea. I was telling him, hey, you know what? We can make money selling this food. So we bought a trailer and make some extra money on the weekend. Yeah. Before we know it, we start forming lines because people look forward to our cooking every weekend. And then that blossomed into to this place. Very yes. Uh -huh. But this was still traditional Texas barbecue. That's right. Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah. And in 2019, you had a great inspiration. Yes. I got bored with his cooking. So I was telling him, hey, why don't I make an Ethiopian food and sell it on the side? It wasn't long before that Ethiopian food on the side became part of the main menu. And the Hicks can thank their customers for that. I had customers who come in, for example, for the vegan combo we have. And they come to tell us on the register, hey, can I add the half pound of brisket to go with it? Can you put them on the same plate? <laughs> Only in Texas did someone <laughs> order the vegan combo with a side of brisket. Right. <laughs> so I, I was just saying, OK, always take care of your customers, because I was kind of hesitant. With diners enjoying the two tastes together, the couple decided just having the meal share the same plate wasn't enough. Some meat meat, though. mix it up together. Why not have the flavors combine in the same recipe? To guarantee the authenticity, Fasika's sister gathers Ethiopian spices in Addis Ababa and ships them to Texas. And the result is perhaps the only Ethiopian Texas barbecue on the planet. And here's your um, St. Louis style cut pork ribs, smoked with barbare. The signature dish at Smoke and Ash, the Tex-Ethiopian platter, naturally. We have smoked ribs, collard green. Featuring American barbecue staples from brisket to catfish to Texas toast, as well as Ethiopian dishes like chicken doro what. We have some tortillas, or we call it kita in Ethiopia and the barbecue sauce, which is uh, spiced with barbare as well. There's another secret ingredient behind the success of Smoke and Ash, and it's not uniquely Ethiopian or Texan. When it comes to food, for me, it's just about togetherness. You work on it with love and care, and you make it to be the best thing on a plate. Mm. 
Mm. And like Spoken Ash is doing so well, they're actually looking for a bigger place. I think they'll be even busier after uh, people see this. It's, yeah. it's worth a trip to Arlington, it really is. When I was a foreign correspondent based in Africa, that's when I came to realize that a lot of the foods that we eat, especially the foods that are made down south, have a direct influence from what happened on the continent, obviously through the transatlantic slave trade. But it is, there is a way to marry those flavors yes. today. It makes complete sense to me. I love the red trays and the styrofoam cups, too. It is, it is a genuine gem of a place, and there's nothing nothing gimmicky about this food. It's very thoughtful, some of the most delicious food I've ever eaten. Mm, wow. Makes me want to go, you Jamie West. I, I do, I do yeah. eat a lot. I, I could drive go. in the HOV lane in Texas with my food baby I had after uh, You may fail, you may that. fail on that. <laughs> I want You're definitely that, getting I, a ticket. I want that interview too, Jamie West. <laughs> you pregnant, I want that interview. <laughs>